Hey, welcome back everyone, Toys is here, and I'm back yet again with yet another DC Multiverse video, and today we're going to be checking out the brand new McFarlane Toys 7-inch Page Punchers Wave featuring Aquaman and Aquaman Villains, right? This is the $25 a piece wave, they come with a figure and a comic book weapons stand, you get the idea, but these are specifically made, the comics, everything else, for this particular wave showing off these four characters. The first one up, very happy to have. We have Black Manta, which looks awesome. On the back side, you'll see the figure, the comic book. Each figure comes with a distinct comic book cover. It's the same comic book, but it's a cover nonetheless. And then we have Aqualad, which is a welcome addition. Calderam, he looks pretty dang good. Again, on the back side, figure, comic book. You get the idea. Everything's printed very nicely as well. And here's the barcode for Aqualad. Next up, we have a really classic villain with a new costume. So it's a different Ocean Master. But it's always nice to have a new Orm on your shelf. Same exact thing on the back side. I like that they change the covers. It gives it a little bit more oomph. You know what I mean? And here's the Ocean Master barcode as well. Now, I'm going to tell you something. I was planning on only getting these three figures. And I opened them up and I was like... Dang, these are, these are pretty good. So, a couple days later, after finding the wave at Walmart, I went back, and lo and behold, Aquaman was still there. Poor Aquaman. So, to complete the wave and make a more comprehensive video, you're welcome. So, here's Aquaman, and these are starting to hit Walmart store shelves now. So, this is going to be an absolute blast under the sea. This is a look at the brand new 7-inch Page Punchers wave featuring... Aquaman, Black Manta, Ocean Master, and Aqualad by McFarlane Toys. And while I got all you little mermaids here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube videos. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. I guarantee you'll find something here that you like. I've got a lot of Aquaman stuff to talk about right but they do look darn good huh so here's everything out of the packaging most of the figures come with either a fantastic sculpt and weapons some of them are just the weapon like aquaman i'll be honest with you the trident is fine it looks great nicely sculpted nice gold it's a bigger cooler looking trident than most of the previous aquaman releases you know what i mean but this aquaman as as cool as this wave is, he's kind of the dud of his own wave. You know what I mean? I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that'll go, no, nah, what are you talking about? You're crazy. But for me, having all these armor pieces, this silver armor, like, don't get me wrong, when you get down to these copper-looking boots and armor pieces, it looks pretty good. The orange is totally fine. That's Aquaman. He's got his little puka shell necklace, a really nice head sculpt. Would have been awesome to have a hook hand on this guy, right? But the plastic gray silverish sort of pieces don't work and no this does not come off it is glued and sculpted in to his chest piece so if you pull it off it's gonna look weird and then you have the arms articulation there's nothing new here except for i want to point out the ab crunch ab articulation on most of these figures came out pretty good he doesn't have any extra hands he's kind of got an outstretched hand kind of calling the fish or whatever he's doing so again nothing mind-blowing nothing crazy it's the usual articulation that you're used to but the sculpt is there the articulation is fine on this figure the trident is the best one that they've done thus far but this particular aquaman is kind of a comic book slash jason momoa combination right in so many ways it's okay but I just wouldn't recommend it, especially if you got other Aquamans that you like. But I will recommend Ocean Master, and his particular weapon trident is amazing. It has these barnacles all over it. He's got these chains. It's very cool, like bones sticking out. It's kind of like a spawn weapon. That's really the first thing that I thought of. I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. And it's nicely painted. It's different odd looking but it's cool at the same time and he comes with a pair of weapon holding hands whereas otherwise you got some fisted hands which is nice to see but this ocean master orm is a sight to behold every type of texture is presented here and it is done glorious he's got spiny looking oceanic crustacean 
parts every which way. You got that weird piranha head fin going on. Everything is cool, texturized, sculpted beautifully, and painted beautifully. He's got a nice wash to him. It's sort of a wetsuit mixed with kelp, mixed with all these oceanic qualities. And I totally dig that. I especially like the texture down on the legs, the crotch piece. That looks great. Down to his boots, peg holes. I'm thoroughly impressed. This is a very well done figure for McFarlane Toys. It's got a nice cape to it, but with the way the figure articulates, moves, and looks, it's it's totally okay. It's it's just a great looking figure. I like his sharp teeth that he has in there, the big red eyes. This is a great costume that makes for a fun action figure. And I like that when you move him around, the big shoulder pads don't get in the way. The usual articulation, not much of an ab crunch, you will see. Nice twists, kind of sort of the waist, we'll just say. The legs will kick out. He's got that rubber diaper piece, which doesn't hinder much. It doesn't look weird, right? Because he's got the belts, he's got double jointed knees, and then the feet. So again, nothing really crazy, nothing mind blowing in terms of anything new as the articulation, but it's nice to have a really well done, well sculpted figure, nice paint, and then have the articulation work really well with all of it presented. And next up we have Aqualad, and this is a great figure in that they've taken what's not worked before with other figures, and done a great job here with weapons and accessories and storage, namely these suckers. So I love that you get the water weapons and then just basic ones without the water to then fit into his back piece. And that's cool. And I love the clear plastic that they got going on. These are really well done. Same as the figure itself. It's well sculpted. It looks amazing. Maybe one hang up here and there around the arms. But other than that, that's a great looking head portrait for Caldera, right? That's awesome. And you get some nice momentum, nice movement out of the neck. I'll tell you again, it's a brand new body, brand new sculpt, as largely these all are, which is incredible to see. But it's all the same articulation. Nice paint. He's got painted bottom soles of his boots, shoes. He's got double jointed knees, the feet rock, the legs. He's got the diaper piece, but it looks great because he's got the belt, which breaks it up really nicely. You do get a lot more of an ab crunch, ab spin. You get the idea. The one part on his arms, right? It's nice to have butterflies and bicep, but when the arms meet the bicep right here, it looks like his skin would be the orange part and then the black with the tattooed would then be the shirt, you know what I mean? It doesn't form fit right. So that would be my only gripe with this figure because otherwise, it's a fantastic looking Aqualad down to his shark looking backpack on the back. And that is where these little red things will go, right? His little water weapons and they simply just peg in. And I love, again, how you have standard looking ones that fit right in the back, create a nice silhouette for the figure. He reaches in the back and then boom, he's got his water weapons and that is fantastic. That's what I like to see. It's not overly complicated. It's not like, oh man, how'd you miss this? How'd you do that? It's great. The tattoos, the orange, the blacks, the face sculpt, the weapons. This is a solid addition to your DC multiverse. And then, which brings us to the best figure, in my opinion. Of course, that's why you're watching this video. You're all about uh, the opinions, right? But you got Black Manta and, of course, Ocean Master, Aquaman, everybody has to come with their own version of a, of a trident, right? You got to rule the sea with this cybernetic looking trident. I love the blades that he comes with. Again, they're removable. Great choice. They're not awkward. They're not Batman Beyond Wings. You know what I mean? And Black Manta, favorite figure of this wave. He looks ridiculously cool, streamlined. He's got all the cybernetics. He's got the big chunky helmet. Little elements of red really pop with the black, largely a black figure, which is not a problem because that's what I think about with Black Manta. This is where his blades are going to go. The back, you see his thrusters and everything else, big old wires that feed oxygen into his helmet. They're very flexible rubber, which is nice because when you want to turn that big old helmet and then wonder how a human head fits in that, right? Who cares? It doesn't matter at this point. But it is awesome. And the tubes move with it. They do not obstruct the movement at all. Same as the rest of the figure and the articulation. The shoulder pads at the top are connected to the bicep. So you move the bicep. It doesn't hinder the arm. It doesn't get in the way. That's a nice touch right there. You got double joints. You got the wrists. 
You got a really nice ab crunch on this guy. Goes all the way back, goes all the way forward, twists. You get the idea. I really do wish he came with some extra hands. An extra fisted hand, something like that, really would have benefited this figure, to be honest, with those blades, the legs, the knees, the big old shark fins right there. I love that. That is just very cool. You got the toe, you got the foot, you get the idea. Really well executed, really well done. And then, of course, you got these really cool blades which simply just fit right there into his forearm. They just pop in and boom. You got two double blades going on, ready to hack and slash your way through Aquaman and everyone else who gets in his way. Fantastic figure. Love this thing. Love the red, love the black, love everything about it. Hands down, that's the best of the wave. And what's really cool is that these do make for some awesome posed out figures. I got to give it to them. These are awesome to really have some fun with. Maybe even get a flight stand for the Ocean Master. Have him floating around. Same thing for Calderon. Have him floating around. Aquaman, just leave him alone. But Black Manta, yeah, he's, uh, he's solid. I love the way that this figure looks. Now, to go ahead and compare Aquaman's here. This new one to this prior Endless Winter one. I really like the Endless Winter one better, to be honest with you. I even thought, well, maybe we could swap the heads. Maybe that would work. Uh, it kind of sort of worked. This one, the skin tone won't really work with the neck to the face, but you really won't see much of it because of the beard. And I think this one might be a little bit too small for the body type, but you make the call. But in either case, uh, there you go, right? And then to kind of see this particular Aquaman with the rest of the wave, I think that he fits nicely in terms of height. He's taller than Aqualad. He's maybe around the same size as Orm and Black Manta, so it definitely works. And like I said, this is not the first time we've had an Ocean Master in the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse line. The first one being a Target exclusive. So it's nice to get, again, another Ocean Master. Completely different look for the character, but they're actually both pretty darn gnarly in terms of their looks and aesthetics. And in terms of the villains, Orm may be on the shorter side this time around. In fact, yeah, he's on the shorter side. But to have him with Joker and Flash and adding Black Manta, it's really nice to get some more of these familiar villains. I'm just going to say, we got a lot of heroes. We definitely need some more villains coming soon, right? And to finally put Aqualad amidst all the really cool Titans, Teen Titans that we've been getting. Sidekicks, you get the idea. But he fits in nicely. He'll be on the shorter side, but he's a different body type. He doesn't share any parts. It's nice to add him to the collection and with this Aquaman to kind of show you how he scales with some of the newer figures as opposed to maybe the Flash and Superman which are older figures he will kind of sort of fit in again he's more of that Jason Momoa movie look combined with comic book so again he's a cool looking Aquaman but he's just really not my thing so that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new McFarlane Toys 7 inch page punchers line Featuring Aquaman, Aqualad, Black Manta, and Ocean Master. And I would say three out of the four ain't so bad at all. Aquaman, I'm going to leave that to you. The choice is yours, but I'd love to hear more about it. But of course, you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Aquaman and his villains and his sidekick. And I'm going to leave you guys with that, as always. Drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, definitely keep these sort of figures that come in McFarlane Toys. You're on the right track, both in paint, weapons, execution, articulation, the whole nine yards. This one was a home run. When we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.